enhance the the textures and flavors of um, of certain foods with new methods. I think it's it's awesome. I'm Chef Lance Nidahara, and this is my sous chef Roger. Uh, we're gonna do today is a chev and lavender ice cream. And chev is a goat cheese. But what we're gonna do today with that ice cream is we're gonna freeze it using liquid nitrogen. Liquid nitrogen is probably my favorite way to make ice cream. Um, the end result is awesome. It's it's super creamy. And the texture is just, you can't achieve that texture with a regular ice cream machine at all. Doing it with liquid nitrogen creates a far superior product, I believe, because what ends up happening is liquid nitrogen sublimates at negative 321 degrees, uh, which is very, very, very cold. Um, freezing it the conventional way creates uh, ice crystals, which, which solidifies the ice cream, but those crystals are large. Doing it with liquid nitrogen creates very, very small crystals, which in turn makes the ice cream very, very creamy and unctuous. It's a much better mouthfeel than you could ever get with a conventional ice cream machine. Um, we're also making uh, brioche uh, bread uh, in the microwave. Um, and that's using our, our ISI whip or our cream whipper here. We're gonna be doing also beet spheres. So little, uh, little orbs of, of beet juice that have been seasoned with some Japanese apple vinegar. Um, and then finally, we're making carbonated strawberries. And that's using this again, and we're gonna charge it with a CO2 charge. Okay, quickly, come on. Put the strawberry in your mouth now. Do it now. Ah! Do it now. Pick it up. Is it fizzy? Yeah. Yeah? Oh my God. Is that good? That is weird. <laughs> it worked. And I think it's something that, you know, chefs now can't discount. There are a lot of chefs who feel that you know, these new methods, there's, you know, we, we, should, we're good, we should go with just the methods we have today that, that have been passed down by, you know, our, our, uh, our culinary ancestors. Um, and, and we should continue with those. But I do believe that innovation continues to happen. And I've seen, I've seen old techniques, but using new equipment with better results. And I think that that's, that's the key. Oh,